this before I get to my sermon. Antes que yo llegue a mi sermón. A vision that the Lord gave me. Eh, lo que el Señor me dio. About eight years ago. Uh, aproximadamente ocho años atrás. When I first came here to Madison. Cuando yo vine acá a Madison. And it's relevant to today's service. Y es relevante a este servicio que hoy tenemos. I was praying right there. Yo estaba orando ahí. And at the first week I was here. La primera semana que yo estuve aquí. I was asking the Lord. Yo le estaba pidiendo al Señor. Why am I here? Por qué estoy aquí? What should I do here? Qué debo hacer aquí? What should this ministry look like? Qué este ministerio debe parecerse? Okay. And you know when you pray, y cuando usted ora, the Lord answers. Y el Señor Amen. contesta. Amen. He answers your prayers. Él contesta sus oraciones. And as I, as I was praying, y cuando yo estaba orando, the Lord told me, el Señor me dijo, that this house, que esta casa, this building, este edificio, will be a house of prayer. Sería una casa de oración for all nations. Para todas las naciones. Amen. Amen. And then immediately after that, inmediatamente después de eso, the Lord told me, el Señor me dijo, that we would reach que yo, que alcanzaríamos the nations, las naciones through this church. De, de, de parte de esta iglesia. Amen. 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 Look, and look at Leo right there. Say hi, Leo. Hey. Leo, 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 yeah. Leo is a new Christian. Leo es un cristiano nuevo, yeah, from China. Yeah. Y él es de China. And God's going to use him in my way. Y Dios lo va a usar a él tremendamente. Amen. And we've seen others over the years. Y hemos mirado muchos a través de los años. Come to know Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Que han conocido a Jesucristo como su Salvador. And God called them into ministry. Y Dios los ha llamado al ministerio. They left the university. Ellos dejaron la universidad. And now they're in their countries. Dejaron sus países. Lifting up the name of Jesus. Y lo dejaron. Todo en las manos de Dios. I believe that's the mission. Y yo creo que esa es la misión of this church body. De esta iglesia. Amen. 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 So I believe God is answering His prayer. Y yo sé que Dios Amen. está contestando las oraciones. Well, as we get started today, y yo voy a comenzar hoy. I want you to open your Bible. Quiero que abra sus Biblias. To Matthew chapter 16. En el libro de Mateo capítulo 16. And we're going to read. Uh, We'll start with verse 13. Vamos a empezar con versículo 13. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who does people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others Jeremiah and or the prophets. Verse 15. But what about you, he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of God, the Son of the Son of the living God. And Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you, I, I tell you that you, Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell, or Hades, will not overcome it. I give this. I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he warned his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. Let's pray. Father, I pray your anointing on your words this morning. I pray you hide me behind the, behind the very cross of Christ. I pray, Father, that you open our hearts to receive what the Spirit has to say to each of us today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As I was preparing for this day, I actually been preparing for the last three or four months when I talked to Pastor Cam and Pastor Jorge Yo about this day. estuve preparando por aproximadamente cuatro semanas cuando yo estuve hablando con el Pastor King y el Pastor Jorge para este evento que estamos teniendo. And I believe God has told me and I think other ministries across the world that Yo creo que Dios nos está diciendo a nosotros y a otros ministerios a través de la tierra that there's only one body. Que solo hay un cuerpo. There's only one church. Que solo hay una iglesia. There's not many churches. No hay diferentes iglesias. And as I begin to study, y cuando yo comencé a estudiar, I went back to this verse. 
y volví a regresé a este versículo when Jesus told Peter cuando Jesús le dijo a Pedro upon this rock sobre esta roca I'm going to build my church voy a edificar mi iglesia and I've heard many many sermons y he escuchado muchos sermones on this passage en este pasaje and it always had to do with the rock y todo tiene que ver con la roca who's the rock quien es la roca and almost today could probably say we know it's Jesus. Y todos podemos decir aquí hoy que es Jesús. But the Holy Spirit led me to this one Pero word. El Espíritu Santo me llevó a este versículo. It says, "Upon this rock I will build my." Y sobre esta roca yo edificaré. Iglesia. My church. My church. I know a few words in Spanish. Yo sé algunas pocas palabras en español. And no words in Korean yet. No sé ninguna palabra en coreano. But todavía. holy, how's it holy? Karu. 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 I'll have Korean lessons afterwards. Sé que va a tener unas lecciones después del servicio en coreano. We will learn. I love that. I just love the fact. You know. Me gusta el hecho de que. We might not know the language, but we have one Lord. No conocemos el idioma. We might not know each other's culture yet. But it's one Savior overall. Pero es un solo Salvador, a través de todo. So let's go back to the word church. Volvamos a la palabra que es In the scripture verse, en esta escritura, it says, upon sobre esta roca, <laughs> this rock, sobre esta roca, I will build my church. Voy a construir mi iglesia. This church is God building. ¿Qué iglesia él está construyendo? His church. Su iglesia. So I had to examine and go do a little history. Yo tuve que examinar y así leer un poco de historia. I began to realize me di, me empecé a dar cuenta that the church que la iglesia is not a building. No es un edificio. Oh, come on. A church, the church is not a place. La iglesia no es un lugar. The church is you and me. La iglesia es usted y yo. Gathering together. Que nos juntemos juntos. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. And it can be anywhere. Y puede ser en cualquier lado. So I think about other countries and the word of God that is being preached. Some places don't even have a building. They meet in the open. Algunos lugares no tienen ningún edificio. They meet out in the open. Ellos se reúnen afuera. I just met, I just met a, a pastor online. Yo me reuní con un pastor from Pakistan. They meet. Un pastor que es de Pakistán. They meet in the basement. Ellos se reúnen because they're worried about persecution. They don't have a church building. They gather together. And they meet. And they talk about Jesus. And they encourage one another in the faith. So, because the next day might be their last day. So we have to realize that the church que que si la iglesia, as nice as this building is así como está bonito este edificio, is not the church. No es la iglesia. And over generations and generations y, across the world y todas las generaciones a través de la tierra, we build huge monuments hemos, eh, grandes monumentos, that we call them church. Y que le llamamos iglesias. And I think what happened to the church over the years y os, y lo que está pasando en la iglesia, a través de los we tiempos, start to be obligated to the event y hemos empezado a poner como not the one who we're celebrating the event for. No la razón por la cual estamos celebrando el que lo Amen. hizo. We, we were obligated to Sunday morning. Come on. Nos hemos reunido los domingos. But we don't have a relation with Jesus. Y si no tenemos una relación con Amen. Jesucristo. Amen. We give our tithes and our offerings. Damos nuestras ofrendas y diezmos. We don't have a relation with our heavenly Father. Pero Amen. si no tenemos una relación con nuestro Padre call, celestial. We call that religion. Le llamamos a esa religión. And I believe it's time. Pero yo, yo sé que en este tiempo. That we break off the religion. Que estamos rompiendo la bandera de la religiosidad. We begin to realize. Y nos empezamos a dar cuenta that it's about all of us gathering together. Esto es acerca de que todos juntemos juntos. So for you scholars out there, I want you to look this up, and I, I challenge my deacons and my elders, our leaders, y mis líderes, to go back and research para que hagamos un, hagamos un, in, their, in, their, mejor, in their concordance uh, this word church right y esta here. Iglesia, esta palabra, iglesia, because if we look at Acts 2.42 si as they gathered together ellos se juntos, and they learned from the teaching of the apostles y de los apostoles, they were encouraged in their faith ellos en they la came fe. together and had a meal 
They broke bread together. Y ellos también comieron el pan juntos. They provided for each other's uh, needs. Y ellos proveyeron para otros aquellos en necesidad. But they didn't have a place to gather. Pero no tenían un lugar donde. They met in homes. Ellos se reunían en sus casas. They met in the marketplace. Ese, ellos se reunieron en diferentes lugares. Uh, they met at Panera Bread. Ellos se reunieron en esos lugares. They met everywhere, maybe on campus. Eh, el campo. Amen. And then when you gather together, you are you are the church. Ustedes son la iglesia. You are the church. Amen. Ustedes son la iglesia. So the word church here actually means gathering. La palabra iglesia quiere decir reunirse. Upon my people that gather together. Sobre mi pueblo que se reúne. In my name. En mi nombre. Will I build my church? Yo voy a reconstruir mi iglesia. Pastor Bob's version. Amen. No es la iglesia, Pastor Bob. My version of it. Es mi versión. Amen. Upon my Upon my gathering, as people gather in my name, la gente que se reúne en mi nombre, as you gather in the name of Jesus, como usted se reúne en el nombre de Jesús, then I'll build my church. Que yo voy a construir mi iglesia. When I think about the history of Capital City Church, cuando yo eh, veo atrás la historia de la iglesia de Capital City, I have to admit, yo tengo que admitir, that not many people, que no muchas personas, have come to Jesus. Que no han a Cristo at Sunday morning service. Eh, en los domingos por la mañana. Not many people have uh, got a deeper relationship with God just by no, coming no on Sunday. Gente tiene una relación profunda con Jesucristo. When we go back through our history, y cuando vamos atrás a nuestra, a la historia, we can see how people have matured in Christ. Y hemos visto como la gente ha madurado en Cristo Jesús. In our home. En nuestras casas. In our smaller gatherings. En nuestras en los lugares pequeños donde nos reunimos. I remember um, a story. I remember Pradeep uh, Samuel. Pradeep Samuel. Uh, Samuel. Pradeep. That's right. He's from India. Él es una persona. Samuel es un hombre de, de la India. I consider yeah. him a spiritual son. Y lo puedo ver como un hijo eh, espiritual. He came to Madison. Él vino a Madison. He was for, here for eight months. Él vino por ocho meses. We were going through our, our second journey class, our second uh, discipleship class. Y estamos eh, tomando la segunda clase para discipular. <coughs> And for all practical purposes, y por todos los propósitos personales, I could say he was a Christian. Él podría decir que él era cristiano. But he was very, uh, uh, not a very deep Christian. Pero él no era tan profundo en las cosas de Dios. And as we went through the Bible, y empezamos a revisar la iglesia, a pasar systematically, eh, systematicamente, he began to understand. Él empezó a entender there is more in the Word of God. Que hay más cosas en la Biblia. There's a deeper relationship. Que hay una, más, una relación más profunda con Dios. Father God with a uh, deeper relation with Father God una, eh, una relación más profunda con nuestro Padre Celestial and today y hoy, he's now going to Bible College y él, uh, in, fue a un colegio bíblico, in Chennai, India en una ciudad de la India and he says it's because of his eight weeks that, or eight months that he was here in Madison y es por esas ocho meses que yo estuve aquí en Madison So I believe if we can gather as we gather together. Y yo creo si nosotros nos seguimos reuniendo. We encourage each other in the faith. Y crecemos en la fe. Well, let's go to another verse in the Bible. Busquemos first, otro versículo en la palabra. First Corinthians chapter 10. Primera de Corintios, capítulo 10. Primera de Corintios, capítulo 10. Uh, verse 14 and we'll read through verse 17 therefore my dear friends flee from my idolatry I speak to sensible people judge for yourself what I say is not the cup of thanksgiving for what which we give thanks appropriate uh, a preparation I'm sorry I haven't said it right For the blood of Christ, and is not the bread that we break a proportion in the body of Christ? Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body. We, for we all partake of one loaf. So this word loaf, I just want to. In verse 17, it says, "Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body. 
for we all partake of it in one as one law. And as, todos somos parte de esa porción. And as we when I, when I was looking this portion of scripture up again, cuando estaba I, viendo yo esta porción, it says the body of Christ dice que as we partake de Cristo, of his communion of his body and his blood we are all made up one loaf means we are, we are all unified as one body and when I think about being one that means that it's not really just the, the Spanish church or it's not the Korean church it's not the American church I think we're one in God's eyes. Y somos uno en los ojos de Dios. I think we are one when God looks at us, and I know it's very difficult. I preach a sermon. Yo sé que a veces es muy difícil. Yo prediqué un sermón. I preach a sermon. Yo uh, prediqué un sermón. Back in October. Eh, en el de octubre. <coughs> the title of the sermon was. El título del sermón fue. God is not racist. Dios no es racista. We are. Nosotros somos. Us. And I got the same look then as I get now. Yo no puedo decir but it's ahora, true. Pero we, es verdad. we always look at other people or other races or other Siempre miramos a otras razas, communities different than ourselves. And we think que that, somos diferentes los unos de los otros, and we're not, that we're not serving the same God, but we are. O que no estamos sirviendo al mismo Dios, pero lo somos. I have to work at it. Yo tengo que trabajar en eso. Jesus said that we should love Jesucristo dijo que si nos amamos unconditionally y condicionalmente Amen. 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 So it doesn't matter what uh, social status you are no importa el doesn't ciudadano. matter what country you come from el status que usted está económico. it doesn't matter where you live no importa donde usted vive. it doesn't matter about what the things you have no importa las cosas que usted tiene. but we're all in one in Christ Somos uno en Cristo Jesús. and I think what happens y lo que está pasando, uh, in America anyway en, en Estados Unidos ahora is we try to classify people. Y tratamos de clasificar Does that a... happen in China? Sucede eso yeah. en China? Does it happen in other countries? Korea? Does it happen in Korea too? Pasa eso en Corea, otro you know, país. you have your doctor degree, you're si a different class than those that might just be starting off. Y empieza usted de abajo. But the Bible, listen, I, I try to I examine this in our societies within the Word of God and says that we should love one another. We should take care of one another. De tomarnos, eh, we should encourage uno, one another. We should lift each other up in the faith. De vivir en la fe. We are one in God. Que ser uno con Dios. Amen. 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 I, look at, I like what Pastor Kim said. Me gustó lo que Pastor Kim dijo. We're here to worship Father God. Venimos a, a adorar al mismo Dios. Amen. Amen. We're here to worship our Lord and Savior. Venimos a adorar a nuestro Salvador, Señor Jesucristo. And the only way that we come to Father God to worship is through Jesus Christ. La única forma como nosotros podemos adorar a nuestro Señor Jesucristo es a través del Padre. Amen. And when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, es nuestro Señor Jesucristo que nos salvó. We confess our sins and allow Him to be the Lord of our lives. Él nos perdona nuestros pecados y nos ha permitido ser el Señor de nuestra vida. Then we begin to see. Y ahora empezamos a ver the world, la palabra, like He sees it. Como él lo mira. Amen. Amen. Then we can really be one church. Él quiere hacer una sola iglesia. There's one sacrifice. Un solo sacrificio. One Lord, one un Savior. Dios, un Salvador. The word of God says for all. Y la Amen. palabra es para todos. So I tell my my church. I Yo say, le dije a mi iglesia. I tell them that dije, the gospel that we preach. El evangelio que predicamos. Here. Aquí has to be the same gospel Tiene that we preach in China, in China and in China, Korea, in, in Korea, South America, in America and in Russia in and Russia, all over the world. El mundo. The only gospel, the el only true gospel is this. El único es este. That Jesus Christ el died Jesus on the cross murió en la cruz. for the forgiveness of our sins. Por el de and pecados. we confess those sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us of all those sins. Que Amen. Se and, we, and we lift up the name of Jesus el the word of Jesús, God says y la de Dios dice that he'll draw men que él and women y mujer, and children y niños to himself Amen, Amen. Amen. and that's, what, that's how we can come on as I was uh, 
Last October, God gave me this, and I want to share. Este octubre, el Señor me dio esto, y quiero compartirlo con ustedes. Turn to John chapter 17. Quiero que pase el libro de Juan capítulo 17. This was another one of the one of our evening prayers we have. Um, I think it was uh, almost a year and a half now we've been gathering on the first Friday night of the month. Pastor Andrew from our uh, African church. He'll be preaching next uh, month and the first of the month in August. And uh, he started the, the evening prayer once a Friday night a month. I think the creatures had their youth gathering on Friday night. So he was. So he said, "Well, I'm just come later." So after you guys are done, he started the evening prayer. And so it's just for about a year and a half now. In October, our evening prayer in October, the Lord gave me this. And when I pray, yo oro, I like to read scripture. Me gusta leer una escritura. Pray scripture. And so I'm thinking, what is the perfect prayer? And a lot of us know. Propósito del tesoro. And a lot of us know the prayer that Jesus instructed his disciples to pray. Eh, una de las oraciones que el Señor we say it sometimes a sus part of our ceremony or part of our church service. We say, Our Father who art in heaven, y nuestro Padre que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre, venga tu reino, hágase tu voluntad. I learned that when I was a Catholic boy. I learned it. Uh, Yo lo aprendí. I had to say it as repentance, repentance many times. Yo lo hice eso cuando era católico, dice como but then I went and I was, as I searched, I found this scripture again. The Lord led me to this, uh, John 17. This is the prayer that Jesus prayed. And he prayed this for you and me. And if you don't mind, let's go to it. Verse 20. And it says this. My prayer is not for them alone, which he's talking about his disciples. I pray also for those who believe in me through their message. And who's that? Those that believe in their message, the message that, that's us. That's, Jesus prayed this prayer for you and for me. And today I believe it's relevant to us. Amen. It says, I pray also for those who believe in me through their message that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you have given me, that they may be one as we are one. Verse 23, I in them and you in me, may they be brought to, to complete unity, to let the world know that you have sent me, and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Verse 25, Righteous Father, th through the though the world does not know you, I know you and you know what you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. Jesus prayed this prayer for you and me. It says here that he prayed that prayer that all of us that, are, that believe will become one. And, the, and as we come in unity as one body, Right? Not American church, not, no iglesia, not a Spanish church, not a Korean church. No la iglesia hispana, no la iglesia Korean. But as we come together as one, Pero si venimos y nos juntamos en un solo espíritu, Jesus said here dice aquí su palabra, that the world may know who I am. Para que el mundo sepa quién es él. 
Amen. 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 That the world, if we can be one si and, not, ser uno, and, and not be prejudiced y no, y no ser racista, and not be judging y no estar juzgando, and not be talking about people y no mal de otras personas, and not be cutting people down. Y no haciendo, eh, Amen. Come on. Come on, you know, as Christians can be really judgmental sometimes. A veces los ser Come on. Vamos. And if we can set that aside si poner eso a un lado, in the city of Madison, en la de Madison and be united together with Christ Jesus, con then the world will know Christ Entonces, Jesus. El mundo conocerá a Jesucristo. Amen. See, I think the world's not coming to Christ because we're just all divided in who we are. Yo creo que el mundo hoy no está viniendo a los pies de Jesucristo porque estamos divididos. Now I totally understand. Yo totalmente yo entiendo. That if I had a Chinese Bible study, Louis, Louis, eh, you're, Luis tiene un estudio. It would be great because I, you guys can speak Chinese together, right? Porque ustedes pueden hablar. I mean, if you had a, a Spanish Bible study, I get it. Yo, yo lo creo. For discipleship, you need to train. Claro, entrenar. I understand that, but I think when we come together like this in a service we call a gathering service, it's showing not only us, but the world that we can be one. Amen. Come on, smile at me. Let me know you're happy. I know I, I don't want you to get all, all upset, but this is the word that Jesus prayed for you and me. This afternoon, Esta tarde, I want you to open your Bible after your service Biblia, and read this prayer. Y que lea esta it's, it's a powerful prayer that Jesus es prayed for us. Poderosa. That we be strong. Y fuertes, that we be united. Unidos, that we be one in Him. Y uno en él. Amen. Amen. And, and the purpose. Y el propósito, the purpose el, for our uniting in one. El propósito de reunirnos y ser un solo de cuerpo is that the world will know the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Y es que el mundo reconocerá el conocimiento de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Amen. And isn't that our purpose on earth? Ese no es el propósito de Dios en la tierra. Amen. Now, I know at times as Christians we need encouragement. Y yo sé que hay momentos donde los nosotros los cristianos need necesitamos ánimo, necesitamos fuerza. We need to uh, worship together. Necesitamos adorarlo juntos. Uh, come in the presence of God together. En la presencia del Señor juntos. Pray for one another. Orarnos unos por los otros. We need that. Yeah. Necesitamos eso. But our overall purpose Pero sobre todo el as believers de la, de cada creyente, is that Jesus be glorified. Es que Jesucristo sea glorificado. First in our individual lives Principalmente en nuestras vidas personales, and then corporately. Y después corporalmente. Amen. Amen. And corporately. And when we do that corporately, we do as a body of Christ together. Y cuando lo hacemos todo el cuerpo de Cristo, then maybe we'll see more Korean students come to Jesus. Y miraremos más estudiantes maybe we'll see a greater Spanish church. Amen. Miraremos una iglesia más grande hispana aquí en Madison. We'll see more Chinese people come to Jesus. Miraremos más chinos que vienen a los pies del Señor Jesús. We'll see more Americans that are wayward. Miraremos más americanos. Come back to Jesus. Venir a Jesucristo. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, um, I want to, uh, we're going to share communion today. Hoy vamos a compartir la Santa Cena. And uh, we want to do that because we want to show, uh, maybe just show ourselves today. Y vamos a mostrar hoy that we serve the same Lord. Que servimos al mismo Dios. The same Savior. Amen. Al mismo Salvador. So uh, as we prepare for communion, vamos a preparar para tomar la Santa Cena. As we prepare for communion today, I wanna uh, we're gonna have the uh, uh, the deacons come up and serve you, and the pastors are gonna come and pray over you. But before we do that, can we just I wanna just challenge you for a minute. Let's bow our heads. Right where you're at. And just ask the Lord, have I been judgmental towards other people? Have I 
talked about somebody I'm not supposed to talk about. If I said things I shouldn't say about another person. Do I look at other people of different races and different countries in a negative way? If that's you today, just ask the Lord right where you're at to forgive you. Just take a minute. Tome un momento. So Lord, help me not to be prejudiced. No queremos ser racistas. Help me not to judge other Christians. No queremos juzgar a otros cristianos. Help me to love, Lord. Ayúdame a amar al Señor. Like you love. Como tú nos amas. Help us be one. Ayúdanos a ser uno. In unity. En unidad. In Christ Jesus. Stand. Can I have the deacons come forward, please? Hallelujah. Father, I humbly come to you in the name of Jesus. And Father, as we work together as being one, I pray, God, that you forgive us for the time have spoken words that would hurt have judged other people Father God forgive us I pray help us in love as you love Lord help us to be like Jesus move with compassion for those that are hurting the poor and the needy that you love this group of people. Help us to grow in you. Help us be one in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. When you're finished praying, why don't you stand and we'll know you're ready. And the deacons are going to come and serve you communion. And just hold on to it. Just hold on to the emblems until uh, 